doesn't let situations get away. His father, Floyd Sr., in his corner on his son. He says that he obviously has the Mayweather speed. Tucks under the shoulder for his defense. That's what his father did when he fought in the late 70s and early 80s. Dropping down and slipping like Uncle Jeff, who was 32 and 10 as a pro. And then the jab and the hook like Roger, a former two-time world champion. And he may have the best power in the family for the, on top of all those other glittering credentials. And you see a double left hand as he jumps right on Pep. Watch the head moving and then Mayweather springing into action behind it. Trying to work for his opening. That's one way to take care of a reach disadvantage. Two left hooks to the body like that. Final seconds of round one, scheduled for 10. Floyd Mayweather Jr. and Tony Papp on ESPN2. Welcome back to Atlantic City. Bob Papa along with Dave Bontempo. Round number two underway. Floyd Mayweather Jr. and Tony Papp in a scheduled 10-round junior lightweight bout. There are some numbers from round one. And Mayweather with the edge and the punches landed, also with the punches thrown. And not a good percentage for Pep. And if Pep gets his jab moving, those numbers will improve for him. He does have the height and reach advantage. But Mayweather has done a very good job of negating that. Mayweather landing 50% of his power shots in the first round. And there were some punching body shots that he got in. This really is a family affair for the Mayweathers. When Floyd was three years of age, his father used to put him up on his shoulders to hit the speed bag at the Towsy Gym in Grand Rapids, Michigan. His dad, a top welterweight contender, was put in jail in Milan, Michigan in 1993 in a federal prison on drug charges. Floyd Jr. was 16 at the time. And Floyd said, I learned to either end up dead or in jail with drugs, and he's learned to stay away from that. And if you remember yeah, during the Olympics and early in his pro go. career, dedicated everything to his father. He said, someday I hope to put my father on my shoulders and help him out as he's helped me. Really getting some good power shots here. Mayweather turning, getting excellent leverage in. You talk about the family affair. He was on a card with Roger and Jeff last year in Grand Rapids to bring it back home before they all went their separate ways and they live in Las Vegas now. And Pat can no longer be content with trying to jab. He needs to double jab to keep Mayweather off because Mayweather has the speed. Mayweather using that left hook. And in turning into his punches again, Mayweather getting maximum leverage. A guy that just oozes with confidence in the ring. See Mayweather just moving away. The spacious ring, 22 feet by 22 feet. Plenty of room to roam. And then he has the speed to come on in and close that when he wants and get his big punches in. Mayweather just digging. These are high quality bombs to the body here. Final seconds of round number two. This bout controlled to this point by Floyd Mayweather. Back to Atlantic City after this brief timeout. The corner of Floyd Mayweather, his dad. Don't feel good, Daddy. Relax, then. Go on, take care of your business. This is you beat me, guys. You gonna stop it? Okay. This moving, bang, bang. He know you heard the right time. Okay. Just a matter of time. And this time, this time right here. I want you to drop the stick. Stick with that lead right hand. Okay. All right. We are going to the third round. What do you think, Dave? The tremendous package by Mayweather, getting good advice from the yo, corner, and he's controlled the bout so far. Most rounds for him. Yo, yo, wipe that ice out here, please. And now they'll wipe away some ice in the corner of Tony Pat. We begin round number three. 
Mayweather emerging as one of the sweet personalities that, that boxing needs in an age when uh, good matchups are very much needed in this sport. Mayweather controlling Pep in that round. Pep has only landed 10 of 58 jabs, and that's supposed to be his department. Mayweather is out jabbing the jabber, and then of course he's out gunning into the body. Well, Mayweather has that sixth sense. He can anticipate his opponent's moves, and he's able to just slide away and duck and spin and turn, and then score like that. And the subtlety is that when he slips a punch, he doesn't use a lot of the ring. Just enough to get him in punching position, and then he scores. Dave scorecard through two rounds, no surprise there. And Mayweather just has been the advertised package so far. You know, it's amazing. Here's a 21-year-old in his 17th pro fight who's making a guy in his 46th pro bout who has been in against some champions has a lot of experience, looked very confused in only two and a half rounds. He's making Pep punch down at him and miss. He's out gunning him to the body. Pep is not able to load and get into a rhythm. And these are all the things that Floyd Mayweather is doing before he punches. A steady hook of, a steady diet of hooks to the body has been a bread and butter for Mayweather here. Good hook again by Mayweather and caught Pep moving and that was a big exchange as Pep got brave and paid for it. Now Mayweather digging to the body. He continues to attack Pep. just can't buy quickness. You look at Mayweather, so many things he does instinctively that you see in fighters, maybe once in a generation. I think it's safe to say we could be looking at one of boxing's dominant personalities in the next five years or so. Absolutely. Final seconds of round number three. Scheduled for ten, all Mayweather. Watch Mayweather complete a shift from defense to offense. Makes Pep miss, then lands two quick punches. Just you. Round number four underway between Floyd Mayweather and Tony Pep. Bout control by the 21-year-old Mayweather to this point. 16-0 with 13 knocks. Take a look at the distance as far as these two are concerned. Pep obviously coming in with 277 more rounds of experience. 29 more bouts, but Mayweather has brought this bout to an even plane as far as that's concerned. Mayweather way out in front with the punches landed, and if Pep is going to get Mayweather to the deep water, in this case the deep rounds, he needs to do better than this. He's getting outgunned now, and his jab is not scoring for him, and that's a great ball. Mayweather, so quick, so accurate, and so strong. And one of the things about Mayweather tonight has been how the defense has set up his offense by making Pep miss with his best shot time and again. Pep is not able to set the pace. First, Mayweather ducks the punch, then he slides in, and then attacks. Tony Pep may be facing the best boxer he has ever faced in his career. The only one you could probably say that might have been better than Mayweather at this point. Tony Lopez. He fought Lopez in Sacramento in 1988 when Lopez was in his prime. This is several years later and he's got the legs of a fighter in his 30s and Mayweather many years younger and presumably fresher. So we'll see how that compares with the fact that Mayweather hasn't gone that long in many fights. One minute remaining in round number four. Yeah. 
big key if this does get into the late rounds, Pep wants, how much does Mayweather take out of him now with his early...